Welcome to the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the first race of the All-Star Break, the All-Star Open. 25 different drivers will try to compete for 4 spots to try to make it in into the All-Star Race. Let's take a look at some of your drivers to watch for today's All-Star Open. Chase Elliott will start on pole for today's race. He finished 8th in the open, open last year, which was only the top 10 drivers who missed out. While today, he starts on pole today. He has struggled this season. He's hoping to change that here today. A rookie with a lot of success so far this season is Cole Custer. He's the hot, he starts second in today's race and is 5th in points, which is the highest points driver in this All-Star Open. He's looking for a momentum booster to help propel him toward the second half of the season. And then Daniel Suarez, he starts ninth today. He had, he finished fourth in the All-Star race last year. He's had a fast car in practice and is hoping that transitions over to the race here today. Could he possibly steal a spot and move on to the All-Star race? And then finally, Eric Jones, he starts 18th today and he was the winner of the first stage in the Open last year. However, he'll have to go through the, la the last chance qualifier to see if he can make it into the All-Star Open. And then finally, Ty Dillon. He starts 10th today as he's replacing Ryan Newman after Ryan Newman had a little crash at the Northville City Race Center. This was a last second call. Ryan Newman will be back for the Coke 600 in a few weeks. Now let's take a look at your format for the NASCAR All-Star Race here today. Now the Open format, 25 drivers are eligible for the Open and the top 17 drivers who qualified earlier today are locked into the All-Star Race while dri the drivers who qualified 18th through 25th will have to battle it out in a race off to fight for the final three spots. There will be three stages in the Open, four laps for Stage 1, four laps for Stage 2, and then the final, lap final stage will be six laps. Both all three of those winners will move on to the, to the All-Star Race and the top five drivers in Stage 1 and 2 will move on to the Stage 3. Your All-Star Race build will consist of Season 2 winners, the Season 1 winners based on points, the All-Star Open Stage winners, and the NASCAR Tennis Hot Wheels Cup Series Fan Vote winner. And you notice we have the Choose Cone here today to spice things up for the All-Star Open and the All-Star Race. It will be a pivotal decision that these drivers will have to make, like will they choose the outside or the inside lane, and which one will give them the best chance to move on to the All-Star Race. So here are some of the explanations. Both tires must be below or above the choose cone if you would like to keep your spot. Now in case like this, just the front two tires have to cross the line and it's up to an official to determine if it's a penalty or not. That, like here, right here, if both tires cross are, on, are right down the middle, then the driver will have to move into the tail, the tail end of the longest line. Now let's head trackside for the command of fire engines. For the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal, Chief Executive Officer for Carolina Beverage, Andy Kerner. On behalf of Monster Energy and Carolina Beverage Group, drivers, start your engines! The engines have been fired and we are ready to go racing here tonight in the All-Star Open. Your pace car driver tonight will be Mara Jeffrey. She will be driving in the Chevrolet SS. Now, if you would like to become the pace car driver for the All-Star Race, make sure you look for Terry's RV and make sure you comment where it is in the, in the comments down below. Now, let's take a look at some of your race facts for today's All-Star Open. There are 25 cars in today's All-Star Open. The Choose Cone is in, is in, in play. There is tracks and compound on the high side to try to increase passing on the high side. And four drivers will move on to the All-Star Race. We are now ready for the Race and Race, where the drivers who qualified 18th through 25th will try to battle it out to make it to get the final three spots in the All-Star Open. In row 1 is the 20 car of Eric Jones and the 18 car of Kyle Busch. Row 2, the 28 car of Joseph Less and the 47 car of Ricky Snaus Jr. Row 3, the 1 car of Kurt Busch and the 08 car of Kyle Larson. Then rounding the field is the 11 car of Denny Hamlin and the 19 car of Martin Truex Jr. No choose cone is in play this race.
in a very lackluster race in race. Kyle Busch comes off on top and will and will move on to the All-Star Open along with Eric Jones and the 47 car of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Kyle Busch going to finish first, Eric Jones second, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. third, Joseph West in fourth, Jess misses out. So does Kyle Larson, Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin, and Martin Truex Jr. We are now ready for the real stage one. As Chase Elliott and Joey Logano will lead the field down in row one. Then in row two, it's the 10 car of Eric Almirola and the 2 car of Brad Keselowski. Then in row three, the 35 car of Daniel Suarez and the 81 car of Eddie Gallagher. Then in row four, the 12 car of Ryan Blaney and the 95 car of Christopher Bell. And then rounding out the field is the 21 car of Matt DiMenedetto and the 47 car of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And a very interesting stage one as we've got to see how the Choose Roan Cone played in. So you see Chase Elliott just looks like he's going to barely be on the inside line as we'll get take a look at our Choose Cone camera here, courtesy of Dave's Donut Shop. And yeah, it looks like there could be a few drivers who might have hit that cone. Let's see the official results as, yeah, Elliott's going to continue to lead with Kozlowski actually gaining two positions. And that entire outside row will be gaining two positions. No violations. And we have three laps to go. Chase Elliott continues to look strong after a pretty good run. For the nine car, as here's the replay here. Yeah, he got pretty clean there, but watching Brad Kozlowski, he can be an interesting one to watch, as I'm not sure if he did cross that choose cone sliding. It looks like, yeah, he did slide it across, but what will they, will they charge him with a violation? And I imagine they would, and yes, they will. He will fall all the way back to seventh and drop five positions. Meanwhile, Matt DiBenedetto gains five spots, and Eddie Gallagher will start second on the outside row. And a very interesting lap compared to the last few, as let's take a look at the replay here. The inside lane gets a pretty good run with Elliott and Logano and Almirola, and in result, they take go up into the high side, and they're going to line up one, two, three, four, five, along with Eddie Gallagher and Brad Kozlowski. Here's the replay of the decision. A very quick decision by Elliott. As he hopes to look like, get this segment win, and move on to the All-Star Race with a win here. Now the driver moving into the first position will be Daniel Suarez, uh, eight positions upward, along with Ryan Blaney moving five positions, and, and Chris Rebell moving up five positions. We have one lap to go, who will move on to the All-Star Race. Chase Elliott wins pretty easily with all that help he has on the outside line, as here's the replay of the last lap. He got a great push from Logano here to give a block on Suarez and to give him the win, and he will be moving on to the All-Star Race, joining Dylan, Boyer, Ross Chastain, Alex Bowman, Jimmy Johnson, and Daniel Hemrick. Chase Elliott's going to finish first and move on to the All-Star Race. Joey Logano finishes second, Eric Almirola third, Eddie Gallagher fourth, Brad Kostowski fifth, and Daniel Suarez in sixth will all move on to the third stage. Ryan Blaney, Christopher Bell, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and Matt Benedetto will all pack their bags and head home. We now move on to stage two, where two rookies will lead the field down with Cole Custer and Tyler Reddick. Then in row two, it will be William Byron and the four car of Kevin Harvick. Then in row three, the six car of Ty Dillon and the 43 car of Bubba Wallace. In row four, the 42 car of Matt Kenseth and the 17 car of Chris Buescher. And running out of the field is the 18 car of Kyle Busch and the 20 car of Eric Jones. Both rookies, Cole Custer and Tyler Reddick, do a great job of pulling off the rest of the field as they try to battle it out to see who can move on to the All-Star Race. 
and it looked like Cole Custer was going is going to lead that lap, but where did, what lane did he choose? As let's take a look at the replay. It looked like he may have chose the inside lane, but it was kind of hard to tell. And yes, he did. He chooses the inside, while Tyler Reddick will choose the outside. The outside lane will have a looks like to have a few more cars than the inside lane will have. As here are the results from that last lap. Cole Custer and Tyler Reddick will hold the spots while William Byron and Kevin Harvick stay the same. But Eric Jones is your biggest mover, moving up five spots. A very interesting lap that was, as it looked like Tyler Reddick may have led that lap. Let's take a look at the replay here. He's going to actually get cut off. By Cole Custer. Now, could that be a lane violation? We saw that happen earlier with Brad Kozlowski. If that is a lane violation, then there could be a. Then he will have to go to the tail end of the field and have to work his way through. I think that is going to be a violation, and he will probably have to go start from the back and see if he can work his way back up to the front in one lap. Yes, that was a choose cone violation, and so was William Byron. As Tyler Reddick loses seven spots, while Cole Custer and Kevin Harvick, Stuart Haas racing teammates, hold the top two spots with Chris Buescher moving up six positions. Cole Custer led that lap once again, but he about got called for a choose cone violation as he just barely verges up to the high side with Kevin Harvick. And he should be leading on the outside. But Ty Dillon in that 6 car. He's going to move up to the lead in the inside lane. So it should be very interesting as we head into the final lap. To see who will be able to make it into the all-star race here. As it looks like Kyle Busch may have gotten loose. And ends up wrecking kind of. Yeah, Ty Dillon up 3 positions. While Cole Custer down 1 position. And Kevin Harvick two, down 2. Everyone else stays the same. And we only have one lap left. Who will move on to the all-star race? Ty Dillon's going to hold off the two Stuart Haas racing teammates, Cole Custer and Kevin Harvick, to take the win and to move on to the all-star race in a last-second phone call with Roush Fenway Racing. They put this deal together a last minute after Roush Fenway Racing learned that they could not race with Ryan Newman after he would not be available until the Coke 600. But man, that Ty Dillon's going to get Roush Fenway Racing into the All-Star Race with a win here today. Ty Dillon's going to finish first, Kevin Harvick second, Cole Custer's going to finish third, Bob Wallace fourth, Chris Buescher in fifth, Matt Kenseth in sixth. Those five drivers will move on to stage three. Eric Jones in 7th, William Byron in 8th, Kyle Busch in ninth, and Tyler Ruddick could not recover from that violation, and he finishes in 10th. We now move to the final stage, Stage 3, where there's only one spot left to race your way into the All-Star Race. Row 1, 22 car of Joey Legano and the 4 car of Kevin Harvick. Row 2, the 2 other Stuart Haas racing teammates, the 41 of Cole Custer and the 10 of Eric Amarola. Row 3, Bubba Wallace and Eddie Gallagher. Row 4, Brad Keselowski and Chris Buescher. Then rounding the field is Daniel Suarez and Matt Kenseth. Who will be make the final spot into the All-Star Race? And a crazy lap there as Joey Legano is going to edge out Kevin Harvick take the leader in lap one of six. This will probably be a dogfight to see who can make it into the to the all-star race. But first, you gotta be clean in the choose cone area, as let's see if anybody had a violation. It looks like Eddie Gallagher, maybe? But you saw Cole Custer spinning backwards across the line, and there were no choose cone violations, and the biggest mover so far has been Bubba Wallace Brad Kozlowski and Daniel Suarez all moving up to, and Eric Almarola has been is the biggest loser, losing four positions. This time, Kevin Harvick is able to use the push 
that Cole Custer gives him to take the lead from Joey Logano with a great block coming off the, the curve. A great job by um, Kevin Harvick to take that spot away from Joey Logano as it looked like Joey Logano would have maybe dominated that race if, he, if they hadn't given up that position. Now we have to go through the choose cone to see who will move to the back and there might be one that could potentially occur. It looked like Kozlowski might have had a violation. No, Bubba Wallace is going to get a violation. And Kevin Harvick moving up one as well. And and Cole Custer will move up to second with that result. That lap was a pretty quiet one as the majority of the drivers would move up to the high side. As Harvick would continue to lead, he moves up to the high side and so does Cole Custer and Joey Logano. So that puts some three powerhouse drivers who have dominated so far in this stage up on the top lane. and They'll see if they can get a good push to see if one of them could possibly retake the lead as it looks like that there might be a choose cone violation heading to Brad Kozlowski. And I believe that Will is here are the results. Yep, Brad Keselowski gets a choose cone violation. But look at the positions gained by both Chris Buescher and Daniel Suarez. Six spots gained by Daniel Suarez with everyone choosing the outside. And five positions gained by Chris Buescher. While everybody else lost at least one position. Now Kevin Harvick continues to lead this race with a good push from that outside line. Now it looks like he moves down low. It's a little bit of a risky move. I don't know if Rodney Childers has a strategy for Kevin Harvick here. Because majority of the, the faster cars are on that high side now. And he could potentially lose this lead. As look at this. Yes sir. Look at Cole Custer barely avoiding a violation. As Cole Custer looks to lead this lap, along with he'll be having getting a push from Joey Logano, while Daniel Suarez moves back to third, and and Matt Kenseth gains four positions. So we have two laps left in this stage. Kevin Harvick continues to lead as this time he moves back up to the high side to be up with Cole Custer and Joey Logano which have been the fastest cars. Leaving Daniel Suarez to head back to the bottom with Chris Buescher going to be the one giving him the push with heading into one lap to go. I do not believe there were any violations this time by it. Oh, maybe, oh, yep, Bubba Wallace definitely had one. Maybe Matt Kenseth had one, I'm not quite sure about that. But we'll to see. And look, no! Cole Custer is going to get a choose cone violation along with the 43 of Bubba Wallace. So that's going to put Kevin Harvick along giving a push by Joey Logano. And we'll have to see what happens here as Daniel Suarez will give a, given a push by Chris Buescher. And Kevin Harvick will be getting a push by Joey Logano. A right position, a right time move by Daniel Suarez as he's going to win the All-Star Open and move on to the All-Star Race and shocks Kevin Harvick, who is the dominant driver in this race, to take the spot away from Harvick. The big Harvick brought biggest loss was Cole Custer after he got penalized with a choose cone violation that many people are left scratching their heads on, but the violation was called. And Daniel Suarez takes advantage of that position and will win the All-Star Open. Suarez first, Harvick second, Joey Logano third, Eddie Gallagher fourth, Chris Buescher who gave the winning push to Suarez in fifth, Almirola sixth, Kenseth in seventh, Brad Kozlowski eighth, Bubba Wallace in ninth, and Cole Cunt Custer in tenth. And Daniel Suarez gives North Star Racing an All-Star Open win and a big motivation booster for that team as they will compete in the All-Star Race. Remember, Daniel Suarez finished fourth in the All-Star Race last year. He's going to hope for better results 
gig there, there this year. Now let's take a look at your finishing results. Daniel Suarez first, Kevin Harvick's going to finish second. Again, Regano third, Eddie Gallagher with a solid fourth place performance. Some notable drivers who kind of like struggled ish. Cole Custer, again, that big violation is going to cost him just like it cost Tyler Reddick, and Tyler Reddick finished 17th. So rookies getting called for choose cone violations, costing them their race. Now it's time to reveal who your fan vote winner is, and it's going to be Eric Almarola winning the NASCAR the next Hot Wheels Cup Series All Star fan vote winner. He will be the 10th and final spot in the All Star race after getting the most votes. Here are your all-star vote results with your top 10 most voted drivers, excluding the drivers who already advanced on to the all-star race. Eric Amarola was first with 100 votes. Matt Benedetto was 20 votes off of the first position with 80. Tyler Reddick finished third with 52. Brad Kozlowski fourth with 51. Those were the highest voted drivers. Then in fifth was Cole Custer with 11. Ryan Blaney with 9. Matt Kenseth with 8, Chris Buescher with 4, Kyle Busch with 4, and then finally Bubba Wallace with 3. And your 4 drivers moving on to the All-Star Race will be Chase Elliott, Ty Dillon, Daniel Suarez, and Eric Almarola. They will join the 14 car of Clint Boyer, the 3 car of Austin Dillon, the 77 car of Ross Chastain, the 88 car of Alex Bowman, the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson, and the 31 car of Daniel Hemrick. Thank you all so much for watching as the next race up on the agenda will be the all-star race and that will probably be up before the end of the year. I'm A North and I'll see you at the next one.